Chromoprint, a multicolor 3D printer based on a reprogrammable photochromic resin by MIT CSAIL. Typically, resin-based 3D printers only have a single tank of storing resin and can therefore only print in a single color. Photochromelion, presented at WIS-19, showed that a single material can transition into multiple colors simply by shining light. Our work, Chroma Print, tries to blend these two technologies and develop a multicolor resin 3D printing system. To achieve this, we have modified an existing DLP printer to incorporate an RGB projector for coloring, as well as the existing UV projector for curing. On the right is an early example of a multicolor print achieved with this system. To develop the multicolor resin, we first mix cyan, magenta, and yellow photochromic dyes into a solvent, ethyl acetate, to create photochromic inks. Following this, we blend the inks into a commercially available white UV curable resin. These dyes can then be controlled through shining RGB light. Here is the system workflow. The user starts with a CAD file that is colored and sliced in our custom-built coloring and slicing add-on to Blender Chroma Editor. This slicer sends a build instruction through a set of coloring algorithms to the 3D printer. In more detail, the user interface, Chroma Editor, allows users to apply color textures to the interior and exterior of the object, allows users to introduce support to the object, and to define the slicing parameters, such as layer height and printer settings. The black and white images for curing the layers and the build instructions are sent directly to the main script. The coloring information, however, is sent through a deactivation algorithm to determine how long each of the RGB lights should be shone to achieve the desired color texture. This converts the colored images into deactivation images and sends them to the main script. The main script then controls the times of each of the black and white images and the deactivation images, along with a rotating mirror below the build platform, which switches from shining UV light into the tank for curing to RGB light for coloring and back again as each layer is being built. The result is a 3D printed multicolor object. For future work, since the CMY dyes are dissolved in a different material to photochromelian, i.e. a resin, we must reevaluate the absorption spectrum of each of the photochromic resin colors to evaluate the optimal wavelength for deactivation. We need to run deactivation experiments for each of the dyes to determine how quickly they deactivate under each RGB light. Finally, we will produce some application examples and evaluate the color space, print time, and texture resolution of our system. Thank you.